What's going on guys? Welcome to another standard video here on magicthegathering.internet slash United States dot nachos. Uh, this is our, this is the deck we're going to play today. It was actually uh, commissioned by C4 Aceru, who has been a subscriber for ages on Twitch. And uh, if you want to have your own deck critiqued, check out my Twitch profile for information on how to do that. And then we can take it through some matches and talk about it and have a good time. And OMG Zora, let's go Mike and Frank Magic Friday. Thank you so much, buddy. Uh, Sober Rob. Got him right here. Yeah. So, so this deck is super interesting. We got two Syndicate Traffickers, which is a pretty good dude. You never seen this I guy? I'm trying to put a counter on him. He gained the Indestructible. Okay. And then you got four Scrap Heap Scroungers. Oh, three. Three Scrap Heap Scroungers. Three Scrappies. Three Servo Schematics. You know what this one does? Probably yeah, Battlefield, put in the graveyard. Put one. Okay, you make a 1-1. One, one. Make a 1-1 one, one both times. Two Treasure Maps. Uh, and then we got two Harvesters. Three Chiefs. Mm -hmm. Other artifacts get plus one plus one. Two pillar bugs. This is an interesting draft gem. Life link. Okay, that is very interesting. Yeah, like this is a dude I draft, but I've never seen this kind of constructed. S Stalker six two three. Thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Antiquities War. This is another sweetie. Uh, look at the top five cards of your library. You reveal an artifact from them and put it in your hand. Put the rest on the bottom. So this is basically just Tezzeret. This is Tezzeret's like plus one. The old Tezzeret Agent of Bolas. <clears throat> yeah, and he also has Tezzeret's ultimate. Yeah, and then artifacts you control become creatures with five five. With five five. They become five fives. With base power and toughness, five five. Then we have four Vraska's contempts, because like you do, and you got three Tezzeret the Schemies. Uh, this dude's okay. So for those who don't know, I'll go over this guy's abilities. Plus one is you make a Lotus Petal. Essentially, you make an artifact that you can sack for mana. Uh, negative two starts at five. Target creature gets a negative X negative plus X negative X, where X is the number of artifacts you control, so you can kill guys with this if you want to. Negative seven, you get an emblem with at the beginning of combat. Target, tar target artifact you control becomes an artifact creature with... F that's five, 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 five. So everything makes five fives here. You got one icy, which I made sure to put the old art in. Not the old, old art, but I the mirror. art. There's... Is there... I wonder if it's the... older art. I wonder if it's online. I would get the, I would get one of those if it's, if it's available. Because those are sick. I bet they are. I bet they were in a master's edition. Oh! <gasps> Oh, I kind of just want one of those. Oh, here we go. Here we go. All right, I'm gonna do it because I'm a. <laughs> I, I I like having cool looking cool looking. I things. imagine it's not too pricey. No, it's probably gonna be like point oh oh five cents. Mirrodin's definitely not the best art. Mirrodin's the second best. Favorite magic art? Um, that's a good question. That's a good question. There's one of them. Yeah, that's actually fine. That's what I want. This one's probably the worst art, right? No offense, Matt Cavada. The art itself isn't bad. I just don't. Let's see. It doesn't look like an ice manipulator to me. It just looks Point like a robot. 0.06. I'll take six cents, sure. One icy. That's so much better. All right. It's so much browner. It's a brown boy. Okay, then we got three Karns, because like you do. This guy's just great, especially with the negative two ability here, because you're just going to make guys that are that are bigger than normal. Uh, one Traxos, because YOLO. That's a cool dude. Uh, one Gilded Lotus. One Marionette Master, which could also be a win condition. Um, two Torrential Gear Hulks, because why not? And one Lay Claim. Uh, the only thing off the top of my head, and I mentioned this before we started recording, was the Lay Claim might be able to be an Ingbolus' Clutches, because it's just cheaper. Um, they both control Enchanted Permanence. However, this one has cycling, so that's 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 the question we're, we're we're grappling with here. And then you got Memorial to Folly, a bunch of dual lands, no fetid heaths. Isn't fetid heath just better than boneyard? Acer, hey, let me know why you went with boneyard instead of fetid heath. I want to put fetid heath in automatically because fetid heath lets your drawn catacombs come in untapped. So these are boneyards no are just dual lands that come into play tapped, right? What are boneyards? Yeah. yeah. Bowen Yards ready. Yeah, they were in Oath of the Gatewatch. Uh, but they were also in Amon, the Amonkhet, like, dual decks. Like the No, they were in, like, the Planeswalker decks. I think that's what they were. So I'm just going to put... Maybe, like, we want one of these. Yeah, right. But but there's three cards in the deck, right? So, <laughs> so they're right here. Yeah, but I, I don't think you can skimp on Fetid Pools when you have cards in your deck. Because these are like five dollars, these are like sixty-five dollars, so that doesn't make any sense. Um, I think it was probably just an oversight. Never seen that stasis. What stasis? What are you saying right now? 
Is that a word? What are you saying? I don't see a stasis. Oh, my favorite magic art. Oh, okay. They linked it in the chat. I don't know what's going on. Anyway. Um, yeah, we'll keep one submerged boneyard just because it's like a just another dual land, which is fine. I'm going to look at this Seb McKinnon art. Seb McKinnon. Oh, wow. That's fantastic. What oh, that's... Is that? Stasis, apparently. Is it really? What is that from? Did I spell it wrong? I, yes, I did. What What is that from? It's MTG only? Oh, wow. I'll show you guys on YouTube so you guys know what we're talking about. I don't want to leave you guys out. Wow. Look at that art. We'll, we'll actually open the preview card for that bad boy. Or the uh, display show preview pane. This guy. Look at that. That looks great. Should I bring all my cards for the next? Um, if it's not too much of an inconvenience, you should. All right. Um. Anyway, okay. So we cut the submerged boneyard. I didn't mean to do that. It's gonna bite us, I bet, but it'll be fine. Okay. We're going to draw a weenie on tap land, I guarantee it. All right, let's try it out. I think that's this how, is... That's how those lands work, actually. What? You only draw them when you don't need them. You only draw them when you need an tap land, yeah. You're like, you only put me one and one in the deck, I'll get you right now. Did Acer respond about the, uh, the Fetid Heaths? No? Okay. Real mature, buddy. Real mature. 300... We, you'll be happy to know we started at 307 subs today. So we did not go back down to 200, to the 200s, which was... It's a lot of submarines. Extremely nice. That is a lot of submarines. I have my own navy right now. All right. 20 play pointer ruse. Oh, okay. Just an oversight. I just wanted to make sure. No, no, no apology needed. I was just curious as to your thought process if I was missing something. I never want to assume that it was just because you over overlooked it. I was because because there's so many times where I overlook stuff that I'm like maybe there's a synergy maybe Suber submerged boneyard is an artifact land I don't know. No one wants to play standard with us. Oh look wow. at that! Look at our viewer number. Nice. <laughs> perfect, just perfect. Is the AC still on? Can you tell? Dang. Doesn't seem that hot in here. That's what do you think? That is what I think. Yeah. Let's do it. I will play first. So will Michael. Because we're one and the same. I don't know you. Please. I'm the only person you know. Think about it. <clears throat> I'm thinking about it. They're gonna be like, "Oh, it's blue black control." What color backdrop are you using? This is a this is actually deicide now. <laughs> I saw the deicide art online, and I was like, "Oh, this is big enough." So the problem is like my overlay is 2600 by 1440, so I have to find art that's either that big or I have to stretch it uh, unpleasantly. So there's actually very few arts that I can use. Plus, like, it's funny because uh, the parts that have to be relevant are, like, the left border and the bottom. So it has to, like, be this this weird L shape of art that has to be relevant. And if it looks bad on the left side and the bottom, then it's like, what's the point? Got a little diet root beer today, guys. A little A and W. Did you know this has aged vanilla in it? No, I didn't know that. And I know. Hmm. Now you'll be less stupid in the future. Look at our look at all the four mana planeswalker options we have. Oh, they just killed our guy. That was like the rudest thing you could probably do. What equipment do you use for streaming? Um, what specifically are you asking? Huh. So Karn goes up to six, but then he drops down to... 
We could play Chief Number Dose. I don't know if that's great. Hey man, do you know what A and W stands for? I don't think so. Ace and Willies. Is it really? No. <laughs> it literally could have stood for that. For video recording? What are you, are you asking? Software or hardware? What do you like? Specify what exactly you're looking for. What kind of what? Like obviously for video recording, that's 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 what streaming is. But like, what are you looking for? Monitors, uh, webcam, microphone, software. What what exactly are you asking? Specify. Give me give me more details for this question. I don't know what to do here. Um, I I use OBS. Correct. One down. We did it. I would love a Vraska's Contempt here. I really just want to get rid of this guy. Can you imagine if it was Ace and Willies? Uh, right now, I use a C920, a Logitech C920. Previously, I used the C922, which is the updated model. But my problem with that, uh, while well, the quality was a little better, it was, it actually, whenever you restarted your computer, all the settings would reset. So I'd have to reset them every single time. And that was really obnoxious. I'm just going to do this and draw a card. Can we have Mike and Soul Mike play each other in Magic and there's some sort of WrestleMania belt or crown they can wear as long as they have their reigning champ in the series? I imagine we could do that. Yeah, we'll do that today. Um, hmm. Say he said he's fine with it. It's good. A&W Root Beer is a root beer brand primarily available in the United States. Canada started in 1919 by Roy W. Roy w. Allen in 1922. Allen partnered with Frank Wright. So it's Allen and Wright. Oh, I like it. <clears throat> what did you say? Ace and Willies? That was close. Yeah, Ace was and close. Willies. So now I use the C920, which is like the standard. It's like the, the regular, like... Snap simulation. You win, Mike slaps Rob. You lose, Mike sla Rob slaps Mike. Oh, that's a good, that's a good one. Do you want do you want to get do you want to slap or be slapped when I win? Which would you rather? If I win a match, would you rather be the slapper or the slappy? Uh, the slapper. What did they not give me? Desert Oak. You want to be the slap? So, so you're trusting I'll win more rounds than I lose? Yes. Nice. I appreciate that. Oh, oh, I don't know if we owe you a slap stiff draft. I'm not sure if that's how that works. <clears throat> Mike, big spoon or little spoon? The we, biggest of spoons. We just reeled a Percata pillar bug, and there's no way they don't give that to us. <laughs> oh, crying out loud. I feel like this hand's a lot better if we drew removal. Yeah, figured. Had a feeling <clears throat> you'd give us that guy. I don't know if I like Scrap Peep Scrounger just because he doesn't <clears throat> he doesn't hold down the fort. I wish there was an artifact wall that drew us a land or drew us a card. Yeah, Juposhi's just nature's old treasure. Apparently he got locked out of his other account because he had an EDU um an EDU email associated with it, and then they, they expelled him from school, so he can't use that anymore. Dang. <laughs> you see, this is the attitude that got you expelled. So I don't, I don't even I don't even feel sorry for you. I'm just gonna play pillar bug. I don't know, man. Pillar bug. <laughs> it's funny because I know what you're doing. Pillar bug. Do 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 pillar bug. That's. My God, I can't tell if it's still hot in here. I'm fine. Yeah, you're fine, but will you always be? What does that no, mean? That guy's good. Yeah, this guy's real good. I think we're dead. I'm not feeling good about this. You think they're gonna exert? Looks like they did. Exerted by old YFA27579. A classic. Oh, they did. Okay, this guy's going where? Yeah, okay. I don't feel good about our situation right now. I'll be honest with you. It's not looking great. How many bugs are on the board? 
Well, there was two. All right, we're dead here. Let's try again. All right, so <clears throat> probably want fatal push. I don't like the scroungers. I, oh, especially not in this matchup. Um. This doesn't kill four fours, but it does let us play something. And we got a lot of things to play. I guess we can bring in one of you and one of you. All right, we got both, so that's cool. We'll do that. Take out the lay claim and bring in Battle of the Bridge. We'll try that. <clears throat> it's bugger in time. Wow, how very, uh, how very Fantastic Four. <clears throat> Battle at the Bridge is that scene in X-Men 3, yeah. Why you remembered that is sad. This deck has a lot of four drops. Oh, I was just curious. I'm starting to do YouTube videos with my daughter and like the look of the webcam. Oh, webcam uh, yeah, the webcam I use is just a C920. It's like the most common Logitech webcam. It's 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 very well you it's very it's widely used and it's like fifty bucks. It's super cheap. Like you can't really go wrong with it. Uh, my mic, however, is a little pricier. I will keep this hand. What did you say? Did you say something? I don't remember. <laughs> it was probably less than forty seconds ago. Yeah, exactly. That's why I don't yeah. have short term memory. It's from all those. It's from all those jazz cigarettes you smoke. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I actually had the C920, and then I sold it in Seattle, and to get the C922 because I like upgrading my stuff. I like technological advancements. I like I like every little incremental quality increase, so I always like upgrading. And um, yeah, it, it worked great. the 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 webcam worked great, except for the fact that like when I, like I said when I restarted my computer, the settings would be gone, and apparently Logitech knows about the issue and they're like oh yeah that's a feature that's a feature of the they literally pulled the it's not a bug it's a feature on um on the on like twitter in response to people's complaints they're like it was designed that way and everyone's like why <laughs> i don't understand that's terrible so yeah then i then i still i still have that one just in case i want to do like a stream from my my laptop and then I can do it on there. And I can use that webcam instead of using the terrible webcam that's on the laptop. So. You don't want to make a little one one? No, because I want to keep man up to fatal push this guy and scry because we want to hit a land. You designed it to suck? Could you could you not do that? Yeah, I'm like, well, when everyone thinks it's a it's terrible and it's not fun and it's not a good feature can you just fix it like does it matter that it's a feature if no one likes it and they don't want it that way or i don't know put an option in the options put a put a setting in the options that says reverts restore default upon reset like why would you ever restore the default settings just because your computer restarted like, there's a little button that says Restore Default. You could literally hit that if you wanted them restored. But clearly, you don't, <laughs> which is why you don't hit it. Anyway, that's my rant. I don't want you. I want to land. I don't want you. I want to land. How many lands are in this deck? I want to check now. 21 lands? <clears throat> it's a little greedy. That does seem a little greedy. Oh, I don't know if GPUs are still overpriced. They might be. BitTorrent's a heck of a thing. However, or not BitTorrent, <laughs> Bitcoin. <laughs> Wrong bit. All right, this is a lot of goblin chain whirlers. I'm not, I'm not comfortable with them. They also killed my one one, which is probably Three. the saddest day of my life. Keep. I 
I think that actually might be the pest people. Also, the pest people are coming today. Michael's one of the pest people. Pest people. One, two, three. I think we can just take six here. I don't love the idea, but... Don't they need access to your room and stuff? I don't know. I don't know if they're going to do inside or not. I will choose this one artifact that was available to me. Look at these guys all become five fives in two turns. We just have to survive for two turns. All right, we can do it. We can also untap, play marionette master, sack our three treasures, and they take 14 or 12 rather. That's a lot. Hmm. Karn, how's the sneeze guy today? Did he survive? He's still alive. He's hanging on. And Grath. Oh, boy. Well, I'll get rid of this Cheev now. So now we go to seven. I got to know my bug guy, and he ended up just giving me his collection that he had in storage that ended up being worth... Wow, that is weird. When you said that, I thought you meant like a bug guy, like he had a bug collection. I thought we we had a little miscommunication there. Wow, a whiff. That is sad. <coughs> excuse me. Uh, no, I'll never <clears throat> excuse you. The problem with Karn negative two is now they just steal it, right? Is that how that guy works? Yes, they just gain control of the target creature and start to turn on tap it. If it has converted mana cost three or less, then they they sacrifice it as well. So we'll just never get it back. And then they just get to kill us. So that's pretty scary. Did Mike just save that sneeze for later in his shirt? Maybe. He might have done that. If you guys prefer next time, I can just sneeze on him. Sneeze on... Let the, let the chat speak. What did you say to me? I'm going to have to make servos here. All right, Karn. I'll see you later, buddy. How do we sacrifice the servo schematics? That's my question. I don't feel like we have a lot of efficient ways to do that. I, I guess, like, we're trying to make it a 5-5 five, five as well. Yeah, Syndicate is one thing, but we only have one of them. So, or we have two of them, so that's not a ton. I think there's definitely some bug spraying happening right now. So what does it cost? Three, one, two, three, activate. We have one, two, three. Eh, it's not going to be efficient. Oh my god, Hunter, relax. Just take it easy. Do you have life gain? I forgot. Uh, does this gain you life? No, they just lose life, right? Thank you. Seville, thank you so much for the, the resub. Really appreciate it. My schedule sucks, so I can't catch you live, but I'm auto-subbed because I love it. Thank you so much, dude. Really appreciate it. My name is Jeff. 309, that's pretty good. We're up to 309 today. That's good times. Pia Nalar. Peanut Nalar. This is a lot of five fives, actually. Can we Yeah, alright. Huh. They have two blockers. <clears throat> block, block. They take 15, and then we can sack. You know, block, block, they take 5, 10, 15, 16. And then we can sack one of the treasures. 
Are we like one point shy of killing them? Because they block two of the five fives, right? So they take five, ten, fifteen, sixteen. We can sack one treasure. Oh, but wait. No, never mind. <laughs> I was like, but they're five fives now, so they take five, right? No, that's not how that works. Huh. Oh, can we get Chief of the Foundry back and play that? Let's do that. Does that win us the game, though? Um, so they block two five fives, so that we take six, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Yeah, that's lethal. Chris, congrats on your job, buddy. My only concern is that um, they kill it. <laughs> but then they take a point. True. So then they die. Then that's exact. I wish Treasure Cove said Treasure Cove said second artifact draw card. Attack at your face. Let's see if this does what we want it to do. No blocks. They're like, we we know what's going on. We'll just take it. We'll go to negative thirteen. Wow, I won that game. What is even happening right now? Can you believe it? Yeah, I mean, we were pretty behind the whole game, but then we Apparently won. making all your your treasures and your servo... Remember, I was like, servo schematic? What does this do? Oh, it makes a 5-5, five five, apparently. Hunter's getting real upset out there. It's kind of like uh, Crater of Behemoth, almost. I don't think I care enough about Angrath to make the Spyglass. What does an HVAC specialist do? What is that? That sounds super. That sounds super. I feel like I should know what that is, but I don't off the top of my head. Hunter, dude, you gotta chill. Make sure I'm not getting any messages or anything. I will keep this hand. Oh, heating, ventilation, and air conditioning. Those are like, it's like, a, see, like, it's one of those, there's like legit fields like that where like, you know, you'll always be able to get a job because we're never going to be in a situation where, you, where people don't need AC heating and, and ventilation stuff. What is that noise? Is that? It sounds like another dog. It sounds like a different dog. It's definitely not a hunter. It sounds like a dog being muffled by a pillow. Like a whoop, whoop, whoop. Everyone does. Actually, had a, I had an AC scared day. I woke up and it was set to 74, but it was at 76. And I was just like, not today. Not on Rex Manning day. And, um. On what day? Rex Manning day. What's that mean? Just stop. Really? I had no idea. In Louisiana, there's a prison program for people facing 10 years plus where they can earn their HX certification in prison. That's actually, like, being able to, to earn certification in prison is, is, is awesome. One day the robots will laugh at the humans' cries for HVAC. <laughs> Why are you the way that you are? Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness gracious. Our opponent just played cut to ribbons on our syndicate trafficker? Watch this guy go the distance. Little bug. If you guys don't get the Rex Manning Day reference, you guys need to go watch Empire Records. What did you say? I said little bug. <laughs> They're just killing all of our things. This is hilarious. We put the fear in them. Actually, what if we play Traxos here and then we un we, we play Tezzeret next turn? And actually, it's whenever you cast, isn't it? Well, I guess we can cast Icy. Actually, we probably just want Tezzeret now because we can just, we can do it. We can do it. I'm surprised that I, I'm surprised they've just killed most of our stuff. Like, I thought they were supposed to be the aggressive deck. Be 
Peeler bug. Little bug. Michael B. Um, so I can actually kill you if we play another artifact. So we can actually play Traxos, kill you. That seems pretty okay. Oh man, are we getting are we getting into a talk of like people who hate automation and self? I I think automation and self checkout is amazing so long as we do steer towards a basic living income, basic universal income, because otherwise people are just going to be out of jobs. Like society is in a real weird position where like you have to figure out how you're going to solve these problems. Okay, okay, that's a good dude. Do we just make one of these jobbies? Do we just play Chieve here? This is a 2 3, so we have to block or else it dies. We could also just play Icy, untap you, and then we can use one of the, the cells to tap it, tap it down. That seems good. Solve problems. We need to keep plundering the treasury for short-term gains and big handouts. Yeah, let's. That's exactly what we don't need to do. You're, I, I'm picking up what you're putting down. Look at this Traxos. We're attacking with the Traxos in standard. I think that's the only way you really attack with that guy. What you can do it in limited. No, that dude was made for constructed. You were made for constructed. I was meant for the stage. <clears throat> Barman, you are not wrong, buddy. You are not wrong. Oh, I didn't actually tap it. I was supposed to tap it, but then I was reading the chat. That is unfortunate. I agree with you. I'm I'm not because a fan. Now Tezra dies. Correct. I mean, ideally, this Traxos will go the distance, but I, I feel like we just, uh, I could do voiceovers for movies. I'd be okay doing that. Don't for ask us content my Traxos, bro. Okay, I don't care about that. I got an icy manipulator. Can we get back Tezzeret with Torrential Gear Hulk? No. Well, that's unfortunate. We're at 20 and we have an 8-8. That's pretty good, right? Beep, beep. <laughs> Big dinosaur coming through. That's a good block, I guess. Look at your little chicken. Look at look at all those chickens. Everyone has a movie voice. Some are just better. Everyone has a movie voice. In a world where everyone has a movie voice. Yep. In that world, no one has a movie voice. Don't abrade. Don't do it. Okay, I don't care about that. I literally don't care about that at all. I think you're dead. We tap your chicken, we tap this guy, and then you take eight. Oh, I see. You're keeping yourself alive. I got you. You're like the Bee Gees over here. Stay alive, stay alive. Is Rob actually sober? Can't trust a man who don't drink the sauce? I don't drink. I don't drink the sauce. Let's tap your beautiful chicken down. Stay alive. An argument could have been made to tap this last turn because then they would have taken uh, three more damage to be at five. So they basically have to keep this untapped to block. They can't actually attack, but, you know. We also just throw our Tezzeret away. So I think considering... <clears throat> huh. Well... Make a 1-1. One, one. Yeah, I was like, how can a land win? I guess we can play Marionette Master. <clears throat> it doesn't untap the Traxos, though, so... 
My sub was for beer money. I have to re rethink my commitment. <laughs> oh, we'll make we'll make it through this. Why is my nose itching? I'm gonna attack your face because I don't care about your Chandra to be quite honest. I think you picked Chandra. You might want to back up. No, I picked the face because it was over here. You might want to back up. Excuse me. You don't know my life. Or we can just Vraska's Contempt this. Yeah, that's actually fine. I'm going to your face. Do you block and go to two instead? You're like, no, I'll just go to one. The difference between one and two here is, like, basically nothing. I don't want to sack the tokens here because we ha we need a way to untap this guy, so. And uh, Torrential Gear Hulk is six, so. All right. Well, let's do it. You might want to spit chew and tobacco back up there, huh? <laughs> let's slow down a little bit. Let's slow down. It's going to be Vraska's Contempt Watch. That was a Chain Whirler. I don't really care about that. If you want to play that, that's totally fine. Totes fine. They did not. They were like, nope, can't do it. That's not going to do anything. Paying costs. I promised at some point my ear will stop, my nose will stop itching. But not today. Hopefully today. I will take seven. Because even the servo is lethal at this point, so. So I have two lethal threats. And we do have to untap this guy, which I'm okay with doing. I think if they have Raska's Contempt here and they're just slow rolling, it's pretty bad for us, but... You might want to slow down there. Wow. Yep, that's pretty bad. Yay, yay, yay. That is pretty bad. I mean, they go to two, we block, we take four, five, six, seven, we go to one. Not great. Not great. I feel like a land, any, any of the last two cards being a land would have been great. Because we're going to play Marionette Master, sack the two Ethereum tokens for, for eight. So. Goblin Chain Whirler wins you the game. Unlicensed Disintegration also wins you the game. Alright, well that was closer than I would have expected it to be. Hooray, was five that, play points. Was that game three? I guess it was. No, did we win a game? Yeah, we won a game with the, the guys, right? Well, that was yeah. sad. I don't think the lay claim is very good. I think we want earlier stuff like Fatal Push. No, wait, no. Enter, enter my deck. Enter me deck. No. I also like Syndicate Trafficker a lot. I think we might want more Syndicate Syndicate Traffickers, just for the uh, the good ability, the goodness, the good good, the good good. I also don't think I like. Torrential Gear Hulk. It only has two targets in the deck, which are Fatal yeah. Push and, and Vraska. I almost want more Marionette, Marionette Masters. And we get to add one sideboard. Like, it only has, it literally just has these two targets. And before this, we only had three Fatal Push, so. Mike, did you just ask the deck to enter you? Maybe. That's inappropriate, dude. It's not okay, Michael. Noxious Gear Hulk seems sweet. That does seem better. That would have been great last round. I'll add one to the sideboard for now. Do we care about Gilded Lotus? I don't know. Actually, 21 lands is really making yeah. me making me uncomfortable. Like what are you thinking with 21 lands? What are you, a maniac? What are you, a maniac, Aceru? Um, I'll add another Boneyard, and I'm just going to take the Gilded Lotus out. We'll try 22. Like, there's no way you're getting to... to 
Because you don't have any ramp. Like, I thought, like, you would have, like, artifacts, so, you, like, you have ramp. But there's no ramp in the deck. You're literally just hoping to draw lands. This deck also seems like it really wants lands. I don't think we care about Scrap Heap Scroungers, either. Like, this is a card that, like, it attacks great, but... Well, you, want, you want to be surviving, really, is what you want to do. I want to take the Scroungers out. And another Servo Schematic. I'm just going to add another land. I get one more card. Just Marionette Master. I'm going all in on the Marionette Masters. It makes three dudes for our Antiquities War. Alright, let's see what this does. Did you save the deck? It saves automatically. Okay. What are you, an amateur? Well, you never know when it comes to Mitgo. Cleansleeve Siphoner is, is in no way better than Tracker in this deck. This is an artifact deck. Tracker? Wait, what? what do you say? what's Tracker? It's trafficker, you mean? Trafficker has amazing synergy with it. He lets us sacrifice guys and win off Marionette Master. Glensleeve Siphoner is just a, a two drop. I will play first. I will keep this hand. What did you say to me? <laughs> Unbelievable. Unbelievable. That's right, I said it. That's right, I said it. Sorry, well, if you couldn't read it, why were you... How, how can you make that suggestion if you can't read the card? <laughs> Oh, good times. Good times, Matthew. Ari. Your bargle did nothing. <laughs> yeah, that's the story of my life. God, I wonder when I play this, but I'd rather just have... It's dark bargle. Okay. Um, yeah, we gotta have a four drop next turn, so I'm just gonna play this and ideally slide on into Karn, I guess. I can't read any of the cards. You should play 60 Mountains. I'll never do... Oh, they missed the land drop? I got unreasonably excited by that. I mean, they're still gonna just syncopate this for one, right? I'm crying out loud. Or Sensor. Never didn't have it. Well, this is two five five, so I'm gonna take that. So next turn we can play if we draw if we draw land we can play Marionette Master, which is pretty sweet. Okay, we don't get to do anything because we just win. We just crush. Dang. I want to take out all the fatal pushes. I'm gonna bring in all the negates. I'm gonna take out all the contempt. Oh, I'll take out two. Eh, I'll take out one contempt. I'll bring in a duress. A couple more thing. Probably icy. I see manipulator. Uh, my mother. My mother's name was manipulator. Hmm. Take out harvesters too. Actually. Bring in a sorcerer spyglass and a duress. Go hard on these duresses, boy. What is this clip you got here? <laughs> oh my god, why do you still have this link? <laughs> oh, that's amazing. I am so proud. Well, it's 75 in here, and it's on 73. I don't know if that's good. Yeah, this hand's keepable. Unlike you. At birth. Wow. That's why you're living with me now. Because your mother was like, he's just not keepable. It was sad, but... That's just life, you know? Man. I know. I was as surprised as you were. Quit breathing, people? What does that mean? Quit breathing, people? Are you breathing, people? Are you saying to quit breathing, people? Like, if you have breathing, people, you should quit those? God, your sentence is so ambiguous. I have no idea what any of it means. What does it all mean, man? 
Oh my god, I've gotten so many emails of updated user agreements this week. It's been unreal. <laughs> you are loved, Mike. Did you know that? No. No one did. You okay? How was your breath? You breathing? Yeah, I'm breathing. You getting your reps in? Your breathing reps? Oh, they're gonna they're gonna regret putting that subtle wreckage in the trash can. Whenever there's a land on top and I need a land, I'm always like, dang it, it's like I didn't even get the value of the scry. This guy's getting sealed away. Come seal away with me. I said come seal away. Hey, Mike, I've been wondering about this a lot recently. What exactly did you do on May 12th of this year? What did you do on May 12th, Michael? Couldn't tell you. Look it up. Make me feel some Mike of way. I love Mike. Iceman, icy, cool runnings, colder than cold. The Mitch of the Mike, the Chomster. Wow, that is... That was a hell of a name. We should have scribed there, but... Boy, streaming and chatting and, and making jokes is hard. You think you'd be better at it by now? I feel like I should be. Whatever, we'll still EOT. We'll get a scry. Watch, but I'll want the card on top, so then I get and then I just miss out on a scry. Really? That is so rude. Put the pizza rolls in the microwave. Wow. That's <laughs> <laughs> uh, actually quite funny, you see. What is in their hand? I don't understand. Bottom. Perfect. Let's do it again. Flip it. I want to keep you on the bottom, too, because I really want to land. I didn't, I didn't get my land. That's well, not you the have land. three lands now. But is that enough? You can counter this? Wow. Deal. That's like the least offensive card in my hand. Chicken Sunday is the best day every day. That's, but it's, yeah, it's every day. So it's not even, you don't even have to choose what's your favorite chicken Sunday every day. Thank you. Chanel, thank you so much for the two month sub. Really appreciate it. 2177 to the Mike B and Frank Magic stream. It's a it's a good one. It's a classic. So we're still looking for those lands, right? So, or we can just actually. Do we have literal zero answer to enchantments? Yeah, blue blue and black aren't really good at dealing with enchantments. Those are not their areas of expertise. You could not tap that negate mana faster. That's pretty good. They have two cards in hand? All right. I feel like we're doing better than they are. Oh, look at me treasure map. I see it. Look closer. Look with your special eyes, Michael. <laughs> I actually look don't with want your special eyes. <laughs> I actually don't want to even crack these treasures just because they're going to be five fives. And my opponent's at 11 from that... From that syndicate overlord. Make him discard it? How can I do that? In my eyes with that double vision. Oh, what a whiff. I did want that to rest, though. That's pretty sad.
Double, double, double vision. Boom, 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 boom. Are they gonna? You think they got one settler wreckage in their hand? You think that's what's gonna happen? I'm gonna play a pillar bug. What do you do about that? You're gonna counter my pillar bug? Pillar bug. <laughs> now you got like jitter bugs stuck in my. <laughs> oh lord. Pillar bug. Pillar bug. <laughs> Did you dance while holding your ear? I don't, yeah, well, I was itching it, and then I started dancing, and then like, I couldn't do both at the same time, so then I just kept holding it while I was doing it, because the itching you basically, stopped. Basically, you turned off part of your body. You just couldn't. Yeah, I was just like, nope, can't. I one one of these parts has to shut it's off. Like when someone holds down your chin. Someone holds down your chin. Yeah, man. It renders you useless. <laughs> Is that true? You know, if you're sitting down and someone actually touches you on like the forehead like this. It's like really hard to actually get out of chair because you use motion. Oh my god! If we can, if they have a, if they have a settle the wreckage, and we get to steal it, oh my god, oh my god, heavy breathing. You gotta have a counter spell and a settle the wreckage in your hand. Syncopate. Oh, settled wreckage. Yeah, they could have syncopated for four. One, two, three, four, five. Why wouldn't they? Why, wait, why didn't they do that? Oh, because we can still sack the treasures. Oh, yeah. that's great. I'll take your settled wreckage. And you will die. I mean, they could hit one with an Ezkanta. Like, that is an option. So, we'll see what happens. Well, we've already seen two, so what are the odds, right? I don't know. Pretty low, I imagine. I can't imagine this deck is also, like... Here it is. Oh, got him! That was pretty sick. That was pretty sick. I think Antiquities War needs to be more. Got, hmm. Also, is Chief of the Foundry better than... Alright, so here's what I'm thinking. What's the dude that reduces the cost of artifacts? Founder Inspector? I think so. Is that what Rucifer is now? He got the he got his Founder Inspector certification. You're so close. What? There you go. <laughs> it's one over, man. This guy seems better, right? Because you can you can play these guys for cheaper. I think we want another treasure map instead of a servo schematic as well, because this card's just better. Like, adding the three, or adding the, um, getting the three treasures is pretty insane. What is the most underrated Planeswalker? Obviously Karn. Is he underrated? I don't <laughs> no, know. No, JK. JK. I don't like Aether Sphere Harvester. Actually. I'm taking out my pillow bug. I like one Aether Sphere Harvester. I like three Chief Foundry Inspectors, though. Domri's not even inst. Do you know how many total cards are in the uncommon cube? No, but I know they like to do more than 360. Okay, I bet you can look that up. You don't need me to answer these questions. You got the internet at your disposal. I'm not your dad. Like, Pillar Bug's super cute, but, like, we've never used the lifelink yet, and I don't think it's relevant. Goodbye, Pillar Bug. <laughs> I got a Pillar Bug deep in my soul. Oh, I'm going to take out one Vraska's Contempt because it's hard to cast because it's not on our plan. And I'm going to add another Antiquities War. What about Spaghetti's Touch? What does that mean? <laughs> you know Spaghetti's Touch. Somebody touch my spaghetti! If you got pillar bugs deep in your soul, you should probably see a doctor. It's probably accurate. I don't know if I like Aether Sphere Harvester. Like, we don't have enough creatures. Well, I guess it does activate. It, cre it gets crewed with a servo. It doesn't get crewed with a treasure map token. Like, I think we want creatures that either that either lower our mana cost or can't be killed by removal. Like, because I love the treasure map token because... The, the treasure token because you can just actually... They can't deal with it when they're on the board. They can't fumigate them away. And then you just end up making them five fives and killing your opponent with them. 
I also don't think we have enough artifacts in the deck. I'm going to take out one Fatal Push and put in one, put in this Noxious Gear Hulk, maybe. Take out one Marionette Master for Noxious Gear Hulk. And we'll add one more artifact. It might just be another treasure map, to be honest with you. Kingpin's pretty good. I like Kingpin a lot. What is Kingpin whenever a thing dies? You scry. It's a 1 4 with lifelink. That guy's pretty good. I'm going to do some house husband stuff while I'm working from home. If I don't hear chewing from the next room, I will be very dis. <laughs> what does that even mean? It might just be another foundry inspector. Inspector. What with a maze of Ith artifacts? I don't feel like you have the mana to actually use it. Like, regularly. Like, you don't actually want to spend, like, three mana every turn to, to go search for a land. I thought it was only two mana to search for a land. Is it? What's it called? I don't know. I can't think of it either. Oh, my God. The Matic Compass. No, it's three. It's like a Journeyer's Kite. You know what Journeyer's Kite does, right? Yeah, the same thing, but it doesn't flip. You got the Shoe Elite Companions and the Way Elite Companions. They're both 3-3 three, three with horsemanship. Oh, let's add those guys. What? So said add some of those guys. Okay, we'll add one of each just in case. Inspiring Sanctuary? Um, I, I can see one Inspiring Sanctuary. I, don't, I think they're worse than multiples. The problem is like it's non-artifact spells, so it only affects like four of our spells. Yeah, I don't like that. Right? Like, I mean, if if it was all, if it gave all our spells convoke, or inspire, or improvise, whatever the hell it is, I could see. But all right, we gotta add one card. I'll just add another servo schematic. Is prophetic prism better than servo schematic? I don't know. That's the question. I wish we had... What were the ones in uh, New Phyrexia where it's like when it comes into play, you draw a card. When it dies, you draw a card. Those were sweet. Or there was the Wellsprings. The, other, the Wellsprings, yeah. Or the other one was Search for a Basic when it, when it comes into play, Search for a Basic when it dies. Those were sick. Oh, I like Padim. Let's look up Puzzle Knots. All right. Black Puzzle Knot, when it draws, you draw... And actually, you can sacrifice this to draw any time, which is pretty okay. I don't care about this one because the energy is kind of kind of useless. I like the white one a lot, but I don't want to have to sacrifice it. If we're playing this, we might just play Prism instead. I don't know. Maybe not. Yeah, Immortal Sun is, is in standard. It's actually in Ixalan. But um, the problem with Immortal Sun is that it's in... Uh, it shuts off Tezzeret and Karn. Um, I actually like, if we play Puzzle Knot over Servo, I could actually see us playing, uh, Kingpin instead. Let's try that. Because this guy's good, but... I like that this lets us survive until... Until we can actually go off. I'll be back. You gonna, you gonna take a little boop? Gonna get a little water. He's gonna take a little boop. What's Implement of Malice? Let's look at all the implements, actually. Uh, target player discards a card. I don't really want to get rid of them. Is that is a problem? Sure. Actually, maybe this guy is fine with Servo Schematic. You might be right. It makes two guys. Um, I just wish we had a better sack outlet for it. <laughs> Gotta take a little barbobbly poop. Um, <laughs> it's actually hilarious. <laughs> oh my god, that's wonderful. That is just wonderful. Just, just wonderful. Servo. Right, but the problem is with malice. They don't. You don't get to choose the card. Hmm. 
this is what I'm looking. This is what I'm leaning towards right now. I like this. I think treasure map is really strong because it, make, it gives you three five fives, and you also want to combo treasure map with marionette master. Let's try this configuration and see if this is good. You got to take a little bob bobbly poop. The Demon with Improvise is good, Herald of uh, whatever. But the problem is we're not just playing an Improvise deck. We're playing an Artifact deck that's trying to capitalize on making your guys 5-5s. Five um, so we want to really keep that. That's our goal. Like, cool, other cool Improvise cards are great, but they're not going to do what we're trying to do. Submerged, bone, submerged Boneyard is just a worse Fetid Pools here, so we can keep the Fetid Pools in hand just in case we want to scry it. In case we draw, like, land, land, land. Got to take a little barbobbly poop. Barbobbly poop. Let's see if they syncopate this. Can you not break things? I'd really appreciate it. Too bad. Too bad what? I'm going to break all the things. That is too bad. I agree with you. That's unfortunate. I like having things. Wow. You weren't lying. Did they just... Sure. Do you think we had no basics? I don't know. That was a very strange thing to do. So you can even kept if you feel to ruin this turn, then you can fatal push this guy, which would have been great, but Mike is the reason I can't have nice things. The Phyrexian saga that destroys non artifact creatures, I kinda like that. That's actually pretty good. That might be better than Vraska's Contempt. Which our opponent happened to play at that exact moment. I feel like I don't want to play this yet just because No, I'd play Ice Boy first. Ice Boy. It's your ice boy. I want to really like have a bunch of things when I set this up. So, Mike is the reason no one can have nice things. Unfortunately, he was raised in a tube, in a laboratory. <laughs> it's true. Oof, that's a good, that's a beautiful, beautiful gentleman. I think we'll just actually play this. We'll tap something down and we'll we'll we'll, we'll tez it up. Oh my! my it's Mikhail Barbobly Boo, <laughs> his cousin Mikhail from Ukraine country, having rare day off from Barbobly Bushka Beat Factory. I'm very excited for watching stream live on computer television stream. Good luck for magic matches. Wow, that's amazing. What a time to be alive. Like, if you could have one superpower, what would it be? And why? Um, hmm. That's a good question. Sure. Wow, they're doing very well with their black-blue deck. This is not modern. This would be standard Henratius. Are you going to answer? I'm thinking. Okay. It's not easy, man. I wasn't sure. Okay. What would your what would your answer be? They didn't ask me, okay? Yeah. Don't deflect. Just answer the question. Okay? Unbelievable. Do they take Tezzeret? They gotta take Tezzeret here, right? They got three cards in hand. I can't tell if he's given up yet. <laughs> I gotta keep looking over to see if he's got the thinking face on. Oh, he was scratching his little beard there, so he's definitely yeah, still thinking. My beard. That was a that was a thinking beard scratch if I ever saw one. I think super speed would be pretty cool. Super speed? Yeah. 
What would you do with it? Probably steal sandwiches. You don't be an hour late to work instead of two hours? <laughs> <laughs> Good times. Yes. Okay, well, that's cool. I'll play this icy manipulator. Cool. Look at this old art, man. So good. Douglas Schuler, you knew what was up. No, wait. The ability, the ability to control time. I think that'd be way wow. better. Wow. That's a little powerful, man. <laughs> I'm going to add a blue during my upkeep. And then I'm going to do it. nothing with All it because right. I just like doing stuff for no reason. Seems good. Seems good. I'm going to add another blue. Because it's just a little thing I like to do sometimes. Alright, we'll go to combat. Okay, you lost your other blue. Alright, two, two blue down the drain. Seems good. Oh, resolved. Seems good. You played that land? Yeah. I would have cycled it. Well, I would have cycled it. I would have Michaeled it. Cycle is just Michael with a C. Think about it. No. Michael, think about it. Oh, we get an emblem after this? I'll emblem. Wake me up before you emblem. I'm gonna pay these costs. I'm gonna draw my cards. These songs have a lot to be desired today. I'm sorry, guys. In a world where sandwiches disappear. There's a there's a man. One barbobbly boy. <laughs> One Mikhail Barbobbly Bush. Yep, out of blue again. We know how this goes. Yep, alright. Why do this if you have no reason to? I don't know. Like, what's your point? Oh, look, you just saw it's gone now. Okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> you did it. You're just wasting your own clock. Like, oh boy, it's amazing. Let's tap another blue boy. Actually, we'll emblem here. Okay. No, that's pretty good. I was going to tap it down and then go to combat, but then we'd miss the chance to attack. So we did that first. So it's a risk. We either, we either get to attack and do it pre-combat or we do it post-combat and miss the opportunity to attack if they happen to have dissolved. Oh God, we're going to do it again. Are you ready? Sure. Oh, they used it this time. What a twist. Congratulations. They didn't do it that time. All right. Well. I think we make three guys here. Being able to sack these for 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 twelve is good, but all right. Well, never mind. <laughs> Guess it doesn't matter. Jk.
Is it raining? Yeah. Is it really? I think so. It was raining earlier, so. Wow. <clears throat> wow. Yeah, that definitely sounds like rain. I'll play my torrential gear hulk. I'll cast my Verasco's Contempt. They don't. They can't do that. There's no target. Man, Fatal Push is pretty good uh, against Torrential Gear Hulk. But it's not. I can fatally push it into the garbage can. Can you? No, I was thinking about you. Fatal hmm. pushing you into the garbage can. But my converted mana cost is too high. Your converted mana cost is like negative six, so I think it'd be just fine. Keep on raining in the free world. Burn, 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 burn. One, two, three. Activate. And we have one, two, three, four, five. What are the odds this guy resolves? Zero, right? Ho, ho, ho. Joke's on you. I have counter spells. Oh, maybe they don't have counter spells. Maybe they just drew one. Yep. I bet they did. Nope. Two cycles. All right. Oh. Ho, ho. Ho, ho, ho. ho, ho. <laughs> How big is a one, two, three, four? It's a five, five? It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Let's make a five, five here. What did you say to me? That's but, pretty good. Wait, pretty good. You gonna fatal push this guy? Boy, they sure have a lot of those. What is that? Three Vraska's contempts? That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Fatal push this guy too? Yep. All right. You're doing well for good yourself. Good times. <laughs> I'm having a good time. Magic is a game of skill and uh, bug experience, you see. Skill and bug experience. Bug experience. That's where you get experience. But I really, these fatal pushes are really driving me crazy in this matchup. All one of them. I will target my marionette master. I'm going to add a black so I don't have to do a... Disallow. Huh. Why don't you just counter the creature? I don't understand. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, Torrential Gear Hulk into Essence Scatter. I thought you should know that I still had all these. To the surprise of no one. It's literally exactly what we said. Oh, boy. I would say universe is a simulation, but they've just had everything, so... Forgot to tap here, so that's a... Can you uh, use the word in a sentence? Thank you. Every day is Chicken Sunday. Sunday. Chicken Sunday. Antiquities War. Chief of the Foundry. Chief. Gives your... Uh... 
Your Lotus Petals plus one, plus one. Oh. Maybe it do, and maybe it don't, Michael. Maybe it do. And maybe it don't. It's a good song. Thank you. Oh, I'm going to encounter this guy. Like you do. Look, what's your favorite format and favorite magic card? Uh, favorite format is definitely Commander. <sighs> favorite card? Shoot. Shoot is not a card. Oh my god. There's no card called Shoot in Magic the Gathering. Thank you so much. Thank you. I really appreciate so it. Much. Uh, so much. So much. I really like Cruel Ultimatum. That might be my favorite card. Coast to coast, Cruel Ultimatum. Diamond Nine. Uh -huh, uh -huh. <laughs> Super do do give a do do. This is from the. This is from uh, a little song called uh, "Smooth Operator." In case you guys didn't know, cruel ultimatum, cruel ultimatum, cruel ultimatum. Yeah, dress seems good. Yeah, but I don't know what to bring in for it. We got to cut cards to bring in cards. Um, ice manipulator didn't seem that great. Really? Yeah. It dealt with one of his torrential gear hooks that otherwise killed us. All right, maybe bring it back in then. Sometimes I listen to you and I disagree with you, but I do it anyway. It's very weird. I'm like, all right, I'll do yeah, it. Yeah, I had to reconvince you to not do it. <laughs> yeah, I was. Well, I mean, like, shut up. Did you ever think about that? I hadn't thought about that. Mike, who would win in a rap battle between you, Frank, and Iraq? Uh, probably The Rock. I thought they said Iraq, and I was like, the whole country? Yikes. Foundry duders? Are we cutting foundry duders? It makes our whole deck cheaper, though. I'll cut one servo for a duress. Mike, I play a Jess commander deck, whole purpose to find Quill and copy it as many times as possible. I don't know what a Jess is, but I do like the idea. Liliana Jess. Come on, you know old Jess. Hey man. I'm just talking about boneyards. You wanna talk about boneyards, bro? I'll talk about boneyards all day. Okay. Go. I don't I don't want to. Diamond mics. Wow, that is some rain out there, boy. Kess? I don't know who Kess is either. I don't know any of these. I don't even think it's. Oh, I didn't mean. I didn't mean Jess. I meant Kess. I don't know who Kess. Yeah, is. I'm still like. I, I don't. I still don't know. If you're using a nickname, I don't know it, so. Nope. Yep. Kess Dissident Mage? Who is that? Mike, you don't even know who that is? Nope. Oh, that makes sense. The Flashback Mage. During each of your turns, you may cast an instant sorcery card from your graveyard. If it if you ca if a card casts this way, you'll be put in your graveyard. Next. Oh, that's pretty good. That's su that's super Grixisy too. We figured it out. Can you just let my treasure map resolve? I don't know what what pro what the problem is. Why you know let the treasure map resolve? Okay, we did it. Are they going to force the will? Yeah, I'm like, can you just, just let it, just click the OK button? That's all. So as soon as you do that, we can all move on with our days. This guy I care about less, so I'm going to play him first.
You got it. I was a contraband kingpin once. Yeah, what happened? I can't tell you my history. It's personal. It's a personal story. Hmm. That's from Seinfeld. Did you know? Did you know that? Do you know what Seinfeld? You ever seen Seinfeld before? No. What's that? It's a television show. What's a television? Exactly. This is where they kill this guy. Uh, yeah, well, you can stay. All allow it. All allowance. Why do companies ask for your resume when you apply, but also ask you to fill out all your info? Uh, yeah, it's, I was like that too. I'm like, I, I just enter. I just say in, it's included in the resume. Well, that's a good idea. Oh, uh, we're not, definitely not playing a car in here into your 3,000 open mana. It's like 3,000 open mana when all you need is a car. You counter this? Counter my little foundry inspector? You got it. You got it. They got it. Hey man, did you see the Battle Bond set? I saw some of it. How do you feel about it? Seems pretty sweet. I agree with you. Oh, now we get to resolve our own Karn. Karn's four days. Is that the next set coming out? You're the next set coming out. Uh, You can have this one. Yeah, it comes out like in literally next weekend. Hmm. 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 Huh. <laughs> How about a negate so I can negate something? I can play a car and keep a negate. That would be cool. I'm going to put you on the bottom. You're not super relevant here. And now we're going to be flipping. Oh, don't want you either. Man. Look at all this scrying we get to do. Oh, yes. One, two, three, four. Um, I do want to keep you on top, unfortunately. I guess that's for. I guess that's fine. We can keep you on top. Me too. What if we just make a dude here? Seems decent. And we get to scry again. Sure. The combos bottom. That was good because we didn't want that. Sure. We got our car and whatever. I hate scrying and keeping on top, especially if I have like three more scries. I'm like, oh, these scries are all getting no use out of them. If you could be any magic creature type, what would it be? Hmm. I'm listening. Probably a whiz. <laughs> Mike loves a good whiz. It's like 10,000 max when all you need is a spoon. Dragon, Lizard, Wizard, of course. Hmm, that's a good one. Dragon, Lizard, Wizard. What are the odds they have Torrential Gear Hulk here? 100%? I feel like we're in bad shape here. It's, which is funny because we have a lot of things. Torrential Gear Hulk really puts a damper on our day, though.
I mean, it's raining like something fierce. It really is. It's not looking hot outside. So I was buying magic cards from her. She was browsing, but she was browsing for sandals. So I guess I'm getting sandals instead. Well, that could be a, a beautiful vacation, right? Yep. Obviously, they have a Trench Gear Hulk, like you do. It's like you knew it was gonna happen. It's like I did. The card's good. That's correct. That is correct. Did you make another guy, and then you have five fives? Maybe. I think so. God, how many boneyards are we going to put on the bottom here? Oh, a lot, Franklin. <laughs> okay, well, whatever. We do have enough for Marionette, but we have to sack treasures, and I don't really feel like that's good. That feels act actively bad. We kind of want to make this to be a 4-4, four, 4-6, four, 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 and then sack the treasures after that. Nice. Nice. It's a, like a blank. It's got a little clock on it. You got a little clock on you? No, man, it's a big clock. I wear it on my chain. Oh, is that your... That's your, uh... Where my Gucci main. Okay. Uh, what do you got? Swamp Island. You can have this swamp. Oh, and that's when the internet died. So we're probably going to be done here. Momentarily, unfortunately. Yeah. So the internet definitely cut out. That is unfortunate. That was spoopy. You're spoopy. Hmm. Having family over the day after tomorrow. Any idea what I should make for dinner? Unfortunately, we got to wait for the stream to come back on before we can answer that or finish our game. Oh boy, it's not looking good. We might be at the end here. Power flicker twice? Jeez. Yeah, it's not looking good. I have low hopes for us. So they just put on the bug spray and now it's raining a lot? I wonder if that matters. I was thinking that too. We just had people spray our house, and now they, uh, now it's raining, so I'm not sure if that affects that kind of thing. I would think not, hopefully. It's like 10,000 mics when all you need is a mic. Well, at least we're still recording, so you guys are getting something out of this for you for the YouTubes. So, oh, now the internet's officially dead. It's like, sorry, bro, we're out. Also, the obvious question to the answer to that question is: You make chicken Sunday. You can't make chicken Sunday. Well, sure you can. Oh, I think we did it. I think we came back. All right. Hey guys, are we back? I think we're back. Just a little flicker. It's just a little power flicker. It's like nothing happened. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome. Did Mike kick the plug? No, the, the rain actually kicked the plug. Right out of the internet. Of life. You think it was the rain? I kept everyone calm while you were gone. Matthew, I'm really I'm really proud of you, buddy. Oh, are you gonna you're gonna you're gonna do this jobby on your turn? Where are we? We're in your main phase? Um yeah, sure. You think it was the rain? Is that what you said? No, that's what you said. And I was like, how could the rain do that? What do you... What do you... It was probably the thunder or the lightning that did that. Oh Thank you. Oh, my God. Jesus. If the, you think it was the thunder? How could the thunder do that? It's fair. Yeah, you stupid idiot. <laughs> Hunter's a shaky boy. He you know, like the Thunder! 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 You know what that's from? Yeah, AC you do. DC. Yeah, that's right. It's from AC Dizzle McSizzle. It was the Thunder LMFAO. <laughs> yeah, look how, look who's stupid now, dummy. 
Thunder oh, dummy. I think we're equally dummy. Wow, I like that we put we we actually scryed two submerged boneyards to the bottom, and here's the third one. So uh, there you go. There you go. One, two, three, four, five, six. What are the odds they have an answer for this guy? Like a million? I'll just play this because it makes these guys seven salm salms. I always wonder if while petting the dog it helps him at all or not. I have no idea actually. Like is it better or worse? It's probably better. I I can't imagine it's worse. Yeah, keep that on top, hundred percent. Yeah, keep that on top, hundred percent. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, keep it on top 100%. Uh, let's attack your, your, your corn. Let's attack your corn. You're going to block with a construct? Time is just a construct, so makes sense. Welcome, Michael B. I'm going to Vraska's Contempt a Creature. Actually, you're probably just going to get rid of it. Oh, you're just going to draw two cards. Well, isn't that cool? All right, corn. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Corn. That's a good corn song. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Corn. Do 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 do. Corn. Do we want to get this treasure map back, or do we want to uh, plus one? I think we probably want plus one here. Six. Let's plus one. It's gonna be a negate and something else. Oh, I'll take either one of these. Both of these are beautiful boys. Top 10 corn jingles 2018. Yeah, that's what we're going for here. I'll play this guy. Sure. Sure. And I'll scry too? Oh, bottom. Get out of my life. Do we just go for face here? Nah, I'm going for the corn. Straight for the corn, boys. Nah, I'm going face. I don't care about your corn, boy. I don't care about your corn boy. Do -do 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 -do. That's a good block. Take sevensies. I'll pass. You gonna pull from tomorrow? Torrential gear hulk, huh? Believe it or not. It's just me. Kill your guy. Exile him forever. Who could it be? Believe it or not, it's Torrential G. Gear Hulk. G for Gear Hulk. It should have stopped while you were ahead. I don't want to. Have I ever been ahead? Really? Probably not. Dude, Hunter's getting real. I'm holding him. Hopefully that helps. Hopefully it helps when I hold you. They have seven cards in their hand. We have one. Good lord. Yeah, but our board's pretty good. Our Borg? Like yeah, from Star Trek? Mm-hmm. Raska's on our card. Did I keep a card on top? Did I scry something to the top? Sure, you can have a... Uh, here, have another Swamp Arena. Don't you remember you told me you loved me, Karn Boy? But do 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 One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven mana. Let's see. Let's see what happens here. We can play around. Yep, they just gonna have. Yeah, sure, that's fine. Let's 
So if they have, a, they have to have fatal push, right? Like they fatal push this guy. Oh, cool. They have cycling. Ha! <laughs> That's not gonna do it. All right. So you block here. You take eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. It's exactsies. Oh yeah, they're dead. Believe it or not, Karn killed you with his eight, eight boys. Oh, exactsies. We go up to twenty-five. Seems good. All right, so this deck is actually holding its own so far. If you could know either when or how you would die, but not both, which would you choose? Uh, probably when. I think when seems a lot better. How, knowing how you die, but not knowing when is super scary. Because then you're just like, one day I'm going to have cancer. One day I'm going to get cancer. One day I'm going to get cancer. One day I'm going to get cancer. Is it today? Is it tomorrow? Is it a year from now? I don't know. Like, you literally know. You know the worst part about it pretty bad to you though yeah but if i know i'm gonna die in five years i'm like okay cool i can make the most of those five years true you know like you have you can plan for it what if you figured it out and it was like tomorrow You're like oh oh i mean it was gonna happen anyway you know i'd rather know that i was gonna die tomorrow and be able to live today like i was gonna die tomorrow than just dirtle around in bed all day and do nothing today and be like oh wow i wasted my last day alive you know what i mean mm-hmm no, I'm saying, Vern. I would choose neither. I, think that's the best I don't option. know if Contraband Kingpin's great in this matchup, actually. I want to bring in Somatic, Schematic, and Double Duresses. The Scrying was great, but, like, I'd almost rather have Duresses here. Like, Duress is never dead because their hand is always full. And it lets us, it helps us resolve uh, bigger cards. Whereas, like,. The one four is just it's not going to really do a lot of damage, and the lifelink's not relevant, so it's really just a, it's almost like an enchantment that scries, and also doesn't actually make our constructs bigger either. So this hand's pretty rough. You like this hand? No, me neither. This hand's good though. I want to keep that on top. Really? I don't know. Was that your horse? Was that a horse impression? Yeah. It's good. You should just live every day like you're going to die. Yeah, don't do that. Don't do that. Believe it or not, it's Mike B. Living every day like you're going to die tomorrow leads to very poor financial decisions. That's yeah, true. you're like, I spent all my money on Ferrari today because I could die tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow, I, I did end up dying, though, because I didn't have any money left to pay for medical bills. And uh, when I did get sick, I couldn't be admitted to the hospital because of American Healthcare. Bottom. Land. Not a land. You better drive that Ferrari up to Canada. <laughs> That's a solid idea. You either counter this, which is basically like it resolves, or it resolves, which is basically like it resolves. Huh. Yeah, I know, right? Next level. Oh, wow. Get a disallow. Sure. That's basically like hitting a disallow. Seems good, right? How's that fur boy? He's, uh... I don't know. Seems the same. <laughs> uh, you know, about the same. You bounced my treasure map? What a weird thing to do. All right, I'm going to replay it. And then I'm going to duress you with a with a with a black mana though, not with a blue mana. Search and Vraska's contempt. All right. One less Vraska's contempt we have to worry about, I guess. I mean, until you uh torrential gear hulk it back that is. But until then, one day Sure, you got it. Nice draw. One day, chicken Sunday.
I can't believe the news today. My name is Michael B. Just make me go away. Wow. All right, so we need to have Gonti and Search in hand. I don't care about either of those things. I'm going to assume you're going to play a Gonti next turn. <coughs> excuse me. But excuse you. All right. Sure. Scry. Doesn't matter. We're just going to shuffle anyway. I just wanted to get the counter on there. Uh, get a swamp. I guess it actually was pretty. It was probably worse because then we. It doesn't. I don't know if it matters. Yeah, it matters because we could have scryed our draw. And if there's two cards in a row we don't want, it was probably better to just save the scry. But. Or we actually could have tapped the land and then scryed. And then waited for, waited to actually scry until that resolved. Yeah, we we had, that was actually probably a misplay. I'm not gonna say probably anymore. It was a misplay. He ain't rain anymore, buddy. Stop he doesn't know that. You. It's not it's not a rain thing. It's a it's a it's an air thing. Like it's a. He just feels it. Does that make sense? It's a dog feeling thing. Dog feeling thing. I can't just close my mics and make them go away. Sunday, Michael, Sunday. Chicken Sunday. Chief of the Foundry. That's what they got off of our thing. That's actually pretty funny. If that's the best thing you hit off Gonti, A okay with that. That seems pretty good here. Sunday, chicken Sunday. We have a negate, so we can probably get four damage in. Are we actually winning this match? Seems good. Look, negate against the deck that has one card in hand seems insane. Yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> Next time we cast Service Matic for one. Uh, now we can draw a card with Treasure Cove because we're not all in on that plan. So. Any food preferences or suggestions? Sweet tomatoes. That's what I was thinking. That was definitely up on the list. It's cheap. It's efficient. It is efficient. Should have end step? I don't know what that means. I have no idea what the words you're saying mean in that order. You can kill your land now, no value. Sure. I but we needed the mana. We needed the the we needed the treasures to to, to use the negate, so I don't know how that's accurate. Like, we needed the three, or else we couldn't have negated, then they just killed our guy, so. I mean, if you live in a perfect world, then yeah, we should have waited till the end of the turn, but we actually live in a world where we want to cast the spells in our hand, so. Well, they kept whatever it was, so it's probably just Torrential Gear Hulk now. Is 
Seems good. Well, they stopped attacking, so I, I can only presume. That they don't have an answer. That's fine. Boom, but I'm up. 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 Do I just kill this guy, or do I make an Ethereum token and try to ultimate? Like, they have to hit something in the next two turns. Try to ultimate, I guess. Karn would be nice here. A Karn of our own would be good. Karn one time. <laughs> sure. <sighs> Obviously. It's actually not terrible here. So we have two things we can sacrifice making eight damage. Uh, yeah, let's get counters here. So this is four, eight, 12 damage. That's rough. All right, one down. They have to find an answer to this Marionette Master. Well, they kept a card on top, so <laughs> they clearly did. <clears throat> More did they? Are they whiff? That's pretty good. Real to top two. You can have. What are, they, are these good against us? Yeah, Scarab God's probably better for you to have. With no Torrential Gear Hooks in the graveyard, I'll just give you the Scarab God. So if we can deal with this guy, we just kill you? But then we're dead if we don't, so I guess we're just dead here. That's sad. Wait, did they just take it? Oh my god! <laughs> Got Oops. him! Woo, boy, fun. that's pretty sick. Wow, what a win there. That was insane, dude.
I guess we'll just attack and see what happens. I actually like this configuration a lot more. If we can go to the deck because we had to restart magic online. Let's see what this looks like. Uh, I like Contraband Kingpin. I like the four duress, four negates. Wow, that was such a greedy no blocks. That's insane. <laughs> Thanks for the no blocks. Um, how many matches was that? I'm losing track. Got to run all the way down. Three? Okay, we can do another. Uh, Aether's Free Harvester is like my biggest... My biggest issue. I haven't really drawn it though. Right, but it's like I don't feel like when we do draw it, like it's going to do much is my problem. I think I think I like this configure. Like I, it's got a it's got a good amount, removal, good amount of removal. Um, all your cards are helping you amass tokens for Tezzeret or Antiquities War. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen artifacts. So we did not try out a Padim just because I don't know what I'd cut for it, and I don't feel like people are killing our artifacts. But I do like the card draw. Maybe one Padim is fine. Yeah. What do we cut for it though? <clears throat> I don't know. It does draw us cards, which is pretty nice. I do like that. We cut Harvester for it, but I think I just like I think I actually like this configuration. I'm not really sure what to change. Let's give it. Let's give it another. Let's give it another go. Another G. <laughs> Chicken Sundays. All right. Good times. Good times. Another G. Yeah. Another go. Okay. I'll allow it. Checking the internet. Yeah, man. Seeing who's there. Seeing what your favorite tweeters have said. Yeah, man. See what my favorite tweeters have said. Right on, dude. I like a good tweeter. Do you? Nah. I can't just close my eyes and make my go away. You can try. I have tried multiple times. <laughs> hey, Saru, thank you so much for saying so. I'm glad. I was. Uh, I always. I always want to make sure like that people are actually enjoying like the 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 changes I make or like the the effort I'm putting in. Um. And hopefully, I've stayed true enough. I also always want to try to stay true enough to the original deck that people submit, because some people are like you know if you're playing a blue black deck and you're like, why don't you take out the black and just make it the mono green deck? And I'm like, but like, that's not the same deck. Fortuitous find. Is that like get two artifacts back from your graveyard? The problem is like we never have that many artifacts in our graveyard. You know what I mean? And we also don't have that many creatures. We have like three creatures in the deck, which are these. I guess there's these. These guys do die. But like these rarely die. So the only two things that are going to be these. Like these are, these are the most common things to go to the graveyard. These don't go to the graveyard very frequently. And that's it. So two out of seven cards have to be in the graveyard, and it's just, it's, I'd rather just play a draw two. What is this? What? But these aren't on Magic Online, are they? That's weird. Maybe they are. I don't know about all that. Have we thought about Atog and Pia's Revolution and Ravager? What about Weapon Enthusiast over Chief? That I like a lot, actually. The problem is we're then we're lowering our artifact count though, like because that doesn't untap Traxos. Um, I guess it does count for Marionette Master, but it doesn't count for Antiquities War as well, right? So like we not only want a high concentration, we do want we do like cards that make artifacts, but we also want cards that are artifacts. Did our match start yet? It did. I will. Indeed. Yeah, I'll keep this hand. There's no blue, but we don't need it for this hand. So if we draw a blue, it's just gonna help us cast these other cards, but. I've had I've had success and uh, failures with with a lot of different decks in standard, which I think is a very healthy place to be. 
Uh, would you put the Ancestral on the sideboard? I'd probably just put it in the main deck. That is an island, believe it or not. You think Simon X is one of the X-Men? That's from the X-Men. That's from the X-Men cartoon from the 1990 boobly blues. Yeah. Like that. Do you have any way to sack the schematics? Uh, not anymore. You did before? Oh, yeah, the, uh, the two drop? Maybe we do. Actually, we might. I don't think we do, though. But they just still do a thing that we want to be done, so... Thank you! J Loot, two months in a row. Thank you so much. Really appreciate the resub. What up, Mikey Hopkins? Philly Phil. Oh, I see you're going to cast that gentleman down into the depths of hell. It's unfortunate. To the briny depths. I don't mind that we can't sack this as much because it still produces two artifacts for things like Karn's ability, for things like uh, Marionette Master. It still triggers Traxos. It's good with this guy. Tezzeret first or do we Karn first? I think we're currently 2-1 with this deck, are we not? Mm-hmm. Oh, we are 2-1. And the one match we lost, I felt like it was very, very close. I think we play Karn just because we have multiples. I don't know if this is a counterspell deck. Gifted Aetherborn in it? I don't know. Of course it is. All decks are counterspell decks, if you believe. If you try hard enough. But if you try sometimes, you just might find they have counterspell. Do, do, do. That's from the Rolling Stones. They wrote about counterspells. The stone who rolls. Well, now we can run this guy out there because we got two of these too. I'll just let you counter everything. I don't even care. Whoa. Whoa, Bessie. Whoa. Who's Bessie? Is that your girlfriend? Maybe. Really? Does she go to the does she not go to the school? Oh. <laughs> uh, is it true that everyone had that one friend in high school that did that? I think it's universal, yeah. Oh, you don't know her. She she lives in she lives in Canada. She's from Canada. Yeah, <laughs> she doesn't go here. Really? How did you meet her? Because the internet's not around yet, so Hangerback Walker would be pretty okay. Look at this little guy. Oh, I'm a tiny little glint sleeve butthole. Wow. Is that aggressive? It felt aggressive. Can I just kill this? Do I care enough to kill it? I don't know. Why does Tezzer have a metal hand? Because it's Ethereum. That's literally how they do. One, two, three, four, five, six. We have a potential seven mana here. Eight is what we're looking for. Eight is the sweet spot. What we can do is see if this Karn resolves. Tezzeret resolves, so unless you drew a thing. You have two, card two cards in hand? I'm just going to take you out of play. I'm going to take you out of the equation. And do we make a zero zero here? We totally make a, a, a three three. A four four? Woof. Who even knows? Oh, I don't know. Artifacts are hard to keep up with, man. But if you try sometimes, you might just find. I mean, what you playing for? I'm sorry, Frank, I just didn't know how they do. <laughs> oh, Flex Retro, I forgive you, buddy. I forgive you. Not everybody knows the, the miracle that is Ethereum. I think they're dead. What did you say? What are you playing for FNM? My dad. Your dad. Hmm. That's a good deck. My dad. Uh, I don't know, actually. That's a good question. I have three decks built. You I have... figure it out quick, boy. I have a blue-white control deck. Uh-huh. I have the mono-green deck. Mm-hmm. And I have the mono-black mono deck. 
Okay. Jimmy crack corn. And, and I don't he care. He don't care. He don't care. Nobody cares. Nobody cares about your corn cracking. I'm going to go to one here. That's a 5-5. Five, five. What are you doing, man? You touching cards? Yeah. That's rude. You're not going to find those decks here. That definitely wasn't a deck because the card I scried to was Jason the Mind's The Sculptor. card I scried to. Oh, their last card was a cast down. So they literally waste a fatal push and a cast down on two Karn tokens, which is basically zero for us. And now we get to start drawing cards with Karn. That's pretty good value. I'll reel the top dose. Two dose. Well, we get an island. Deo. You say Deo. De. Me said that, 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 me said that. Hey, Mike, do you ever think about that when you're sucking on a hard candy, it's basically drinking your f favorite flavored spit? What are your thoughts? Wow. Um. Well, that's horrifying, but accurate. Did they just try to fatal push our foundry inspector? I think they did. And, and they, they can <laughs> the shame scoop. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> punt and scoop. The uh, classic. Punt and scoop. Punt, punt and scoop. That's a classic. That is a classic. I do like that it lets you target it, which is pretty funny. Yeah, because it's not a legal target. It's a, it just says destroy target creature if it has converted mana cost two or less. The target's legal. It just doesn't do anything. What did we see? We saw a bunch of removal. We also saw a glint sleeve siphoner. Yeah, we didn't see much. We didn't see much. I'm gonna take a Vraska's contempt out for a duress. I'll take the harvester, the harvester out for a duress. Harvester. I'll take the harvester. I'll take one of these out for a duress. Punt and scoop. Punt, punt and scoop. Now work it. Hold on, let me answer a message real quick. All right. Eh, I'll keep this hand. We got the treasure map. That's good enough for me. Mike B. Wow. Do, 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 do. Remember that theme, theme, that theme song? Everybody remembers that. Everybody remembers this theme song, dude. Previously on X Men. It's four million views. Yeah, it does, because everyone remembers this thing. This cartoon was so good, actually. You think it holds up today? Yeah, it, I, I'm looking at it now, and I'm like, this still looks great. Hey, I mean, it looks good. I, I mean, it, it looks like, like an accurate portrayal of the X-Men. I'm going to close it before Fox chooses to uh, demonetize <laughs> my video. Oh, I'm sorry. It looks like you're profiting off of the X-Men theme song from the 1990s. Wow, you got rid of my Karn? You're a rude dude, dude. Ideally, we're going to play Contraband Kingpin, so I'm going to do this. And see if we can hit a basic. Chief of the Foundry, you can leave and see you later, boy. All right, well, you're not helping me out much. Do a little ding, ding dong. Did a little ling ding dong. Ding dong. Ding 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 dong. Did a little ling ding dong. Ding dong. Yeah. Good talk. 
wasn't really a talk. It was a talk. I had a I I said words and you said words and then we were talking. What what problem is? I said words. You said words. Uh 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 uh. <laughs> What's wrong with you, man? I don't like both of these guys. I'm really getting. I'm getting a little PTSD. Oh goodness. Those are good bobbies. They are good bobbies. Damn it, good bobbies. Michael. You still listen to Power Glove's metal cover of the old X Men theme? Power Glove. That sounds that like is. a. That sounds like a. Uh, a really. That seems like a video game theme band. <laughs> oh Jesus. I wish I could block either of these two dummies. I'm okay, Dad. I'm okay, Dad. Wow. Okay, we're definitely holding off on that. I feel like if the... Oh my God. Is this real? No, that's all four copies. Give me a Yehenny's expertise that I don't have in the deck, but I would, I would really... They just look like Mario characters. That's amazing. That's not going to do it. I've done this too late. That would have been better. I'm going to just scoop because now I now I feel like I want to bring in dudes. First track from the Power Glove Saturday Morning Apocalypse album. Wow. Now I feel less confident about those, and I kind of want to bring in this Yehenny. Yehenny's expertise. Okay. Is your brain hurting? Yeah. Are you going to be okay? I'll live. That's too bad. What about olives? They're good. Are they? Yeah, I like them. Kerwit, this has been a test of the emergency broadcast buck. Had this been a real emergency buck, emergency instructions would have followed this emergency buck. <laughs> wow. Oh, Kerwit. Good times. You might say, the best of times. Yeah, you might not, too. I don't know. I'm no expert. I'm no spurt. Oh, God. I need to move that table so you can stop messing with it. Mike's always got to be touching stuff. I got to be fiddling, man. He's got to be always be fiddling. I'm a fiddling man. 24-7 fiddling. I guess you're taking my schmezzerit. The schmemer. The schmemer. Shut up, Michael. Every day I'm fiddling. Boom, ba -dum, 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 ba -dum. They took the Vraska's Contempt, huh? Okay. Okay. This guy makes everything so much cheaper. Next time we can go Tezzeret into, well, nothing. But, you know, it's still pretty good. Thank still a good card. Rare Kamex, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome to the Mike B. Frank power Hour. Power Hour. The Mike B. Power Hour. It's not powerful at all. It's weak hour. Yeah, also, Asura, I, I actually have no idea what you're doing with these 21 lands. I feel like that was a trap. You're like, I'm going to put 21 lands in the deck. Steve. Let's see if he notices. We replaced his 24 lands in his deck with 21 lands. Let's see if he notices. Gonna play you. Do -do 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 -do. Is it better to use the Tezzeret ability to negative 2 to kill this? 
And then we get to save the fatal push. Probably. Or is it better to use the plus one and use that mana to fatal push? Why use a card when you can use a planes bomb? That's what I'm thinking, but it does let us ultimate faster is what I'm, is the other thing I'm thinking. Yeah, but he'll probably just have Wrath of the Contempt anyway, so. Do you think so? All right. I'm going to trust that. I'm going to be like, yeah, maybe he does have Vraska's Contempt anyway. Negtez, kill it, minus. Wow. This is a violent chat. You guys really got, you guys really went in there. They didn't have, they didn't have Mana Michael. Do you know who Mana Michael is? My dad. <laughs> it is Mana Michael, my father. So we're going to go Cheev for two. That's a good deal. So this guy is now a 4-3. And then we're going to go other Cheev for two. Now it's a 5-4. This is a big Foundry Inspector. Excuse me? Oh, you cut him down. He did not survive. I do remember Black White Cheeves. That was good stuff. Mana Mike is a stripper name. <laughs> oh, what up, Mana Mike? I think, I, I, think Dang it. I think our opponent is coming to terms with his mana base. We're going to add one. Play you. One, two, three. Crack this jobby. Get this gentleman back. One, two. Play you. And ate you. We ate you. Ah, it's like a little, uh, you know what I'm saying. I'm going to look at these videos later from way back and watch it. Wow, that is some commitment right there, Matthew. We got a lot of power on the board. Did you know that? Mm -hmm. Did you know about all the power we had on the board? Look at all the power we have on the board. So you go to seven and we have six on board? All right, well. That does buy you a turn. But you didn't have to do it to him instead of Tezzeret, which is pretty good. Oh, Insta Slam. Insta Slam. <laughs> Just gonna make it, dude. I'm gonna force you to deal with everything. Now we have an 8 8. Sure. Seems good. The old Karn Tezzeret Chief Chief Construct turn. That's a good one. Had lethal? Oh, no, we didn't. How did we have lethal? One, two. How did we have lethal, you dummy? Yep, you got it. Okay, so here's the thing. We had... Yep, I was knew I was going to do that. We had a chief of the foundry. We had two chiefs of the foundry. We made an ethereum cell. Okay. So we had, before we did that, we had two Ethereum cells and two Chiefs. So if we go plus four, negative four on one of our creatures, it dies. We had four artifacts in play before we made a Tezzeret Ethereum token. That's enough to kill this guy. That's not lethal. Oh, I guess we could sack a treasure? Yeah, but were they tapped out? So, okay, so they were tapped out. Uh, we sang it. It's three, four, six. Yeah, that's good. I don't actually look at these as, as mana. I just look at these as artifacts. So, yeah. In my face, we did have lethal. God, what a dummy. Who didn't think we had lethal? Stupid idiot. Yeah, that seems better. I agree with you. Your play was solid. Maybe when you get here, you can tell us all about it. What, are you driving right now or what? What's going on, man? You said 4 o'clock, 4.30. Where are you at? <laughs> Mike missed it too in your defense. Yeah, Mike's not going to see lethal there. He doesn't know how Magic the Gathering Thank works. You. Either way, send the boon. Thank you so much for the, for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome to the Soul Tie Brood. Uh, on that note, thank you so much, guys, for watching. Uh, if you guys uh, want to have your own deck critiqued, feel free to check out my Twitch profile. The information is in there. You can check me out on Patreon if you want to support the stream. Um, but this deck seems sweet. I I, I think it, I like it a lot better now. I thought that we... Do we win a match with Atraxos or was it yeah, just... Yeah, we did. That's pretty sweet. 
Um, also, the Karns were great. Making the, the constructs was great. The Icy was useful when we drew it, so I think having it as a one of is fine. Tezzeret was actually surprisingly good. All, all the cards seemed very, very useful. Uh, Antiquities War was just brutal. We won with that. Um, I think Foundry Inspector was a good, a good addition. Contraband Kingpin is still my iffiest one. Um, I think it could be Syndicate Trafficker. I think it could also be another thing. I don't know. Oh, oh, oh here it that. comes. Bonus Hunter. There you go. But yeah, otherwise I think the deck seems good. I think I, I'm comfortable in this position. I don't know if it's tier one, obviously, but I think it's it's. I, I'd feel comfortable playing it. Definitely, it seems sweet. It's fun. It's definitely a, a different deck. Uh, four treasure maps seems great. Like I never felt bad drawing a treasure map, and the three treasures is relevant for so many things, from Marionette Master to Tezzeret to Antiquities War to Karn. So, uh, Walking Ballista. Walking Ballista was the other card we might want to replace Kingpin with. I do like that a lot. I think that's pretty good. So. Um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Hopefully uh, you guys got some insight. Hopefully that was helpful. Hopefully you guys appreciated the changes. And I'll see you next time.